But without further ado, let's stop dilly dally and let's get into the game. So the game is. Morning guys, Tom's Toys 95. This is Tom here. Now I just wanted to check in and say that I found a really cool item on Facebook Marketplace. Now it is a video game related item and it is kind of a one of a one of a kind sort of unique piece. So it's not something that I have ever come across before or will probably come across again. So I'm really excited to pick it up. Now it is a 20 mile drive there and 20 miles back. So it's like a 40, 50 mile all round trip. Um, but me and my girlfriend are going to make the day of it. She's just getting ready now to get in the car. She doesn't want to be in the video. But um, but yeah, so we're going to head over to Stratford-upon-Avon. Um, hopefully we'll stop off sort of in the centre and just have a wander around and see what's going on. There may be like a CEX or a game shop, which I might check into if I can find one. But if there isn't, then we're just going to go pick this item up. And when I get back and return home, I will show you the item and we'll go through it. So we're just in TK Maxx now having a quick look. Now we were planning on going into the centre of Stratford and going to the shops in there but in the end we didn't. It was about a mile walk from where we parked so we spent way too long in TK Maxx rummaging through the clearance section. I did find some really good stuff and then we went for a subway for lunch. TK Maxx have quite a lot of toys that are either in the reduced section or even at their price are good value. The only thing that prevents me from buying more stuff is the fact that the fees and the postage is quite high, so the, the profit margins are very minimal. However, as I said, I did pick up some things which I will go through, but they are for my eBay, so I may put that in the week of a life video. This video obviously is for the insane pickup that I'm about to show you soon. Welcome back to the game room. So, we've got the item in hand and it looks so good. I'm very happy with the pickup, I'm very happy with the price I paid as well. Um, so I paid £25 for this item. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go to the rest of the shop, so I didn't pick any more gaming things up um, in this video. So it is just the one item. I got there, and I did double-check with the lady um, selling it. It was on her partner's behalf. Not necessarily the authenticity of it, but the background of it. So there's no authenticity, there's no certificate or anything that comes with it. So in terms of selling it, it might be quite difficult. So I guess the question that everyone will be having is what is the story behind the item? And now I had the exact same question, so I did ask the guy. I'll put a screenshot of the conversation on the screen. But basically, I asked the person selling the item, um, what was the story behind it? Do you have any auth authenticity to go with the game? Now, he said it was rather a dull um, story, and he won the item at a charity event that he was um, catering for. So that's really all I know. Um, one of the uh, women hosting the event's husband was donating the game as a prize because he worked on the development team. So as far as authenticity goes, that's the only story I've got. It sounds very believable. He also said that he wasn't a gamer and he wanted it to go to a good home and someone that appreciated it. And he was selling it for what he paid for it, which was the raffle ticket price. Now, £25 for a raffle ticket, unless you're very generous, seems quite expensive. So unless there were some really expensive items being auctioned off, and it was almost like guaranteed prize, then £25 does seem like a quite a bit of money to put on a, on a raffle. Potentially he'd looked on CEX and seen how much it was selling for and was just selling it for the same sort of price. I don't know, but either way, £25, it was a very good price for the item that I picked up. So at this point, the seller also said that there were 30 plus people interested. So I just knew that I had to have the item at this point. Now, as a collector, I would love to keep this item, but I'm also an eBay reseller and I feel like I could sell the item and potentially make a profit off it. Now the guy did say he was selling it at what he paid the raffle for or essentially what the game is worth. So I respect him for that. Now he wanted to pass it on because somebody would value it more than him. He doesn't play 
uh, video games at all, doesn't collect games, doesn't have any sort of knowledge of gaming, uh, at least from the messages. So that's why he passed it on to someone that would appreciate it. Now, whilst I do like the item and I w will appreciate the item if I decide to keep it, um, the item is on Xbox One. Now, I am majorly a PlayStation gamer and Nintendo Switch, so I don't play the Xbox. I do, however, collect steelbooks, and that is how the item came about being found. I was on Facebook Marketplace, and I searched for video game steelbooks, as I do for my collection sometimes, and I came across this game, and I knew I had to have it. As just said, this is on the Xbox One, and I collect for the PlayStation 4. So, the only reason I would sell it, because in the same way that he wanted someone to appreciate it, there might be an Xbox gamer or a fan of this series of game that would like it more than me. As a reseller, I can make profit on it, and it is intriguing to me at that point just to see how much this could potentially be worth. If it only adds £10 worth of value, then I may decide to keep the item. Um, and, you know, as a collector's piece, it's a good talking point for the game room. If someone was to come in and have a look at it, if I've got any friends over, they can see the item, ask some questions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, however, it could be worth in excess of 50 100 maybe even £200, who knows, that's where you guys come into play and, you know, drop in the comments below what you would do with the item, what you think the item's worth and, you know, whether it's worth selling or worth keeping for the collection. So, without further ado, what is the item? So, um, it's a series of games that I've never played before, it's on the Xbox One and it is Forza 4 Horizon. Now, this is signed by the whole development team. So, as you can see from the messages beforehand, this was uh, from a charity auction and it was donated. So, if we just do a close up here, you can see all of the signatures on there. And there is a lot of signatures. I haven't counted exactly how many, but I reckon there's at least 40 and there's even two signatures. I don't know how well you can see that on the spine, just there. So, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. There are some scratches to the steelbook, so it's not in mint condition, it's not perfect. But uh, inside we also have the disc. So um, I may just resell the disc, sell that for £15, make most of my money back, and keep the case, who knows. But um, let's let's see, but this is the game case, got all the signatures on there. I did try and make out some of the people, because I don't play Forza, I don't play Xbox, so I don't know who any of these people are. When you get a video game signed, if it's a voice actor of a particular franchise, that can go for a lot of money, and they are very well-known people, and in that sort of scene, um, people really want those sort of items, so when you go to places like Comic-Con, you can pay upwards of £80 just to meet somebody to get a photo, and then get them to sign your game. However, in this instance, this is the makers of the game, there's no real voice actors as such in this game, so it's kind of, who are these people? Is this a piece that people would want? Is this something that's in demand? Possibly not. It is a very niche item. But then I'm sure there's plenty of Forza fans out there that would love this game. And that is why, um, go circling back to selling it, is why I would potentially sell it. Because someone will love this way more than I will. So, in terms of authenticity then, how can we tell if this is genuine? Well, we can't. There's no certificate. There's nothing to say it's genuine. Um, none of these people are particularly famous enough or at least in my opinion I can't make out all of the signatures so I don't know who these people are. I am tempted to write to the makers of the game um, and see if they you know, send some photos in, maybe see if they can identify some of the people on there or shed some light over how it came about being signed. Um, see if they remember it, who knows, but I can try and reach out to someone on Twitter or find an email on maybe the website. But there is one particular signature just there which says S. Hughes. Now I googled this name and it was a guy called Simon Hughes. Now I'm going to put it on the screen for a second, but I found his website and he's obviously a game developer and he makes assets and things like that for the games. So I found a few articles on his website that talks about his work on Forza 4. Um, you can go and have a read of that on there if you want to. Um, but yeah, he, he basically spoke about his time on the game and the things that he made for it. So I have no doubt that this is genuine. Um, that S. Hughes signature would come back as Simon Hughes and that makes sense. There's a few more on there that I can't really make out. There's, there's one that says Stu, um, so obviously short for Stuart. There's S. Gibb, now I don't know if that's Gibbons or Gibson, but there's an S. Gibb on there. 
So there's a few, there's one that says AMC or AMAC. So yeah, there's a few on there that you can make out. Um, I can certainly see a Tony on there as well, or Tanya maybe. So yeah, there's a few um, there's a few names on there that if you knew who those people were, you could definitely make out those names. So as I said, I'll just quickly show you again, but you can go through, and if you want to pause the video and have a look, feel free. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really lovely piece, and I'm really glad to add it to the collection. Um, but if anyone has any more that, uh, information on this, then please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.